We are in Mapu, a very rural community in um, Plaisance, Haiti, the northern part of Haiti. We are about to go buy cacao. Corinne Joaquin Sanan started the first bean to bar chocolate factory in Haiti. It was a homecoming of sorts for an industrial engineer. We have several teams who are going to be inspecting the cacao, then cutting it, extracting the beans, and putting them in boquit. And from there, we're going to transport it to our fermentation center and ferment the cacao. Corinne is an engineer with an MBA degree. Two years ago, she lived in New York City and made a six-figure salary. She enjoyed her comfortable life. And yet, a nagging thought kept creeping back into her mind. When I was 16, on my last year of high school, I did a list of everything I wanted to do in life. Visit all the country in the world, speak six language, have become an industrial engineer, have an MBA from a top school. When I was 29, I looked back at the list and I felt that I felt that I needed to come back and help and create jobs and help create wealth for other people. I felt that only exporting the raw material wasn't creating enough wealth for the people in the country. Corrine wanted to put her industrial engineering knowledge into practice as an entrepreneur. She and her husband invested all of their savings to start the Ascania Chocolate Company. Then came the challenges. The city is totally inundated, flooded, water on all the roads, and we cannot get into Capetian. There's about 15 of us in the truck. We have all this cacao ready to put in our fermentation boxes. It's starting to ferment and it needs to be put in a fermentation box. Corrine faces extreme weather and frequent floods that disrupt supply and distribution systems in Haiti. On top of that, the country lacks infrastructure, skilled workers, and a transparent business environment. It felt like you're always solving problems. Whether it's labor problem, whether it's part problem, or reaching the cacao, returning on time solving issues. To problem solve, Corrine relies on her University of Michigan engineering education. What I learned in IE is, for instance, my just in time, my lean class, for instance, helped me a lot in setting up the factory and making sure like how much inventory I need to keep so that my production never stops due to missing equipment or missing part or missing material. This is thanks to my lean class. My optimization method helped me with reordering so that I know when's a good time to reorder, how much buffer I need so my production doesn't stop. My ergonomic class helped me in setting up a proper work for the employee. So the job is always done in an ergonomic way. They don't get any uh, strain during the work. Give me more. We buy almost we're starting right now to buy almost per year a hundred thousand dollar worth of cacao from a total of potentially two thousand farmers and it can go more maybe to five thousand farmers so it's five thousand family that we are touching the life the opportunity for all of these people to have a, a revenue it's a passion it's a it's a challenge it's not the easy road. I've never taken the easy road in my life. Um, I can say that. Um, I skipped two grades. I skipped a first grade, fourth grade. And then I decided, okay, I want to a top school in Haiti. I want to go to top school in the U.S. I want to University of Michigan. Tough, tough school. Went from being the first in the class to the middle of the pack. Very dedicated, smart kid. Just um, showing me humility, but also showing me that I could do it. I think I'm very driven and motivated, and I'm a real, I'm a leader and the best. I'm a IOE, University of Michigan engineer, so that's how we are. We are tough, we try hard, we try different ways until it works. <laughs>